Why did you decide to call your party Article 1? Article 1 is the first article of our Dutch constitution and to me it says a couple of things. It says literally that all who are in the Netherlands are equal under the law. Um, this is not true in fact in, 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 in daily life. It also says that discrimination based on anything from race, gender, sexual preference and such is prohibited and this is also not being lived on a daily basis obviously between individuals but more dangerously and more importantly um, by the lawmakers and by government we see a rise of unconstitutional uh, uh, laws being presented we see a rise of unconstitutional ideas being normalized so we feel that the first article of our constitution is under pressure it's in danger and we're here to defend it I think the Dutch have always uh, been proud of the idea that they're incapable of racism, they're incapable of intolerance. Um, however, as soon as you bring up an issue like blackface, um, you know, so, so they feel attacked. Are you saying that we're racist because we have a blackface character that we celebrate? Um, the whole concept of that is just unacceptable, or at, at least hard to accept. And why do you think that the Dutch people were seemingly unwilling to have that discussion? Because the impression that I've had of the Netherlands is that the Dutch people are very straight talking, they're all for freedom of speech. But it seems that you're saying that they weren't even willing to think about this. I'm just curious as to why that was. One of the reasons is the Dutch are now being confronted with a part of the, their identity that they don't want to be confronted with. And if you grow up thinking that you're, and I'm not joking, that I think a lot of Dutch people think they are incapable of racism. So if this is your belief, and now somebody addresses a racist character in a children's party, or they address the, the, the common use of racist language, or um, uh, uh, the, the, the non-diversity of Dutch media, it's, it, it's, it becomes very personal because, you know, you you're under the impression that this is impossible. What kind of price have you paid uh, for making these kind of declarations? There was a point where on a daily basis I would receive these threats and, um, and other, other, other forms of violence because people always tend to go, oh wow, they're, they're death threats, yeah, that's serious, but it's also serious when people describe in detail how they would like to rape you, for instance, um, I mean, the sexism and the racism that I've encountered, it's just, it's just, it's, it's, it, I can't even, I can't even describe it to you. Just my final question. Imagine that I was a PVV uh, Wilders voter. Yeah. And you were trying to convince me that I shouldn't go and uh, mark that X in the box yeah. on the 15th of March. What would you say to me that I, you know, why should I not vote for Kurt Wilders? First, it's, it's, it's this one group of people. But what do we do after we eliminate that one group of people? Who's going to be next? Um, could, be, could be women, could be gays, could be black people, could be anybody you have in your life that you love. Um, there's too much at stake for us to be divided. The number one solution is to unite because Geert Wilders, who is preaching a revolution against the establishment, trust that he is the establishment part of an establishment that have been around for hundreds of years. Um, I do think I would need more than five minutes, though. <laughs>